Hey, good morning. Uh, Jill here, and I was kind of upset because I did proverbial, the Proverbs 31 uh, wife or woman. I read it out and um, uploaded it and then deleted it, but it didn't go through. So let's do it again. It's the last of Proverbs check sketchbook by Jill Mockingbird. It should be illustrated by Jill Mockingbird. It's a Bible verse that God wrote. God put it to get Bible together. It's his word. And I just did a little sketch to explain. To help explain it to myself and help it to, maybe this will help explain it to other people. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life. And check out my YouTube channel, which you're doing. So yesterday, Solomon, I believe. Why is Solomon wrote Proverbs about um, beautiful nature, what God's created. Well, just uh, beauty. He's just reflecting on beauty. Um, the way of the eagle, the way of a snake on a rock, um, the ship in the sea, a ship in the sea, and a man and a woman together. And... Then he goes on to talk about small things that are important. The rock badger, ants, locusts are like an army, I believe. Though maybe spiders are like a... The locusts have no king. I need to draw, draw that out. The locusts have no king, yet they all advance in ranks. So the locusts are like soldiers... I need to draw a king out or soldiers out. And spiders are in palaces. I need to draw out a palace. The spider skillfully grasps with its hands. Interesting. And it is in lake, it is in king's palaces. I always think of, we always, in America, we think of spiders with legs, but in here, in Proverbs, they say spiders have hands. And then the, I believe this is the last thing. Um, these are important things or grand things. Sorry, I'm congested here. Um, a lion is mighty. A greyhound dog. A male goat is impressive. And a king whose troops are with him. The people need to be with him, right? Not against him. Uh, open your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Don't we need to do that? Open your mouth for the speechless. In the cause of, in the cause of all who are appointed to die, open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Let's do that. Who are the poor and needy? So this is about a godly woman, a biblical woman. I've drawn it, I drew it out before and sent it to Jews for Jesus. I don't know what happened to it, but it is very beautiful. Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies? So who can find a beautiful wife, a righteous, a virtuous wife, a truthful, honest, good wife? She is more important than money or Rubies or jewels. Her husband is known in the gate when he sits among the elders of the land. Okay, let's say this is the husband sitting in the important places in the gates. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. So a very important husband. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. So this lady's dressing up her husband Lifting him up. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. So she's kind of a businesswoman. Importing and exporting. There's a joke on Seinfeld called Vandalorian. She's like the Vandalay Industries. She's like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. I wonder if she has a name or if she's just 
an anonymous woman, like Jane Doe, or, or she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. So she makes linen garments, clothes, and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants or the businessmen. I'll take two. I'll take three. She perceives that her merchandise is good. This is good. This is not good. And I just want to add here that you're welcome to put closed captions on or subtitles because my mother-in-law said it's hard to hear. I have a soft voice. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. A uh, relative said about his mom, he's like, oh, blessed are you. Half jokingly, but it's true. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praises her. She watches over the ways of her household. How are you doing? What's going on? Even the cat she worries about. How are you? She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. So maybe she's knitting here or something. She gets some materials from the sheep wool. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her household. Maybe I wrote that wrong, but she rises early while it's still dark and supplies food for her house. Wow, what a woman. She considers a field and buys it. So she's a businesswoman. Um, she has different dealings. She considers a field and buys it. I guess real estate or property. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She's strong, getting stronger. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. Powerful. Her lamp does not go out at night. Sorry, there's no tea there. She's always on the go. Her lamp does not go out at night. I think even when she's asleep, she's aware of what's going on. Eh? She extends her hand to the poor. She's reaching out to poor people and helping them. Charity work. She extends her hand to the poor. She's not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household, OLD should be here, all her household is clothed with scarlet, so red color scarlet must be a warm type of clothing. I think scarlet is a, or purple is a rich type of, as used for uh, rich clothing as well. She's not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household is clothed with scarlet. So she's not afraid of snow. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. So I think curtains is tapestry. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. So you could color this. Maybe I'll have a coloring book someday and do purple. Strength and honor are her clothing. So she wears strength and honor. She's donned with strength and honor. She's clothed with strength and honor. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is the law of kindness. So he, she opens her mouth, and she speaks wisdom and wise things. And on her tongue is the law of kindness. So she speaks kindness. We need to do that, don't we? I need to do it. She does not eat the bread of idleness. No. Laziness. She does not eat the bread of idleness. No, I will not be lazy. I'm go, go, go. Proverbs 31.30 is a conclusion. Charm is deceptive, is sneaky, and tricky. Charm is deceptive. Hello, how are you? I'm a charming person. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting like a bird. It's always easy to leave, easy to take off. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Good show, well done. A woman respects the Lord, fears the Lord. She's doing a good job. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Good job. 
honor her for all her hands have done. Everything she's done. Honor her for all her hands have done. And let her works bring her praise at the city gate. All she's done, her works will bring praise. Good job. Well done. Way to go. So let's be a proverbial people, proverbial woman, proverbial man. And this is it for Proverbs. Um, we're praying for those in Florida with the rain. And I hope you're doing okay. It's going to rain this weekend. And so I think I'll take a break this for the weekend. But hope to see you on Monday. And we'll go back to Luke. Finish up Luke. Okay, have a good blessed weekend.